We're taking turns for three seconds. So I'll just go to the side. We are Team Lads, and this is Unit 17, Assignment 2. Start. The marketing of Northern Room Records. Uh, do you want to go first? Uh, it's quite an it's just a summary. Uh, Northern Room Records, the music record label, set up by students and for students. Yeah. This is made for revival music in the north east of England. Created label approach did all the whole style of music price for the price of 49.49. That was a mistake. Um, did all did all the legal work for us. Got us on Spotify. Basically helped us out with this. Chose did all because did all can be online. People prefer to go online. More on that in our survey PowerPoint thing. How would marketing material? Uh, the rest of the groups in Northern Moon Records, since they were bands, made music videos, but since we are not, we decided to, to create our own viral marketing video in the style of a mockumentary that subtly plugged the record label from our research that we found out. Oh, from our research, we found out it's a good way to market companies or products because it's subtle and people don't know that they're being advertised to. Uh, just a bit of banter, everyone can relate, two lads joking about video. But well, then, Get like some lads secretly in. plugging the record label. Target audience. Uh, our target audience is typically more of an indie section of the population. People who prefer a bit of indie rock, a bit of all female punk rock. Uh, targeted this by releasing videos that are different to the normal mainstream videos. Uh, that's all seen the artwork, a couple of posters about. You know, the mockumentary. It's a bit different, a bit indie. Most people might go for a music video with some girls. We don't have girls. Social media. Go on. Northern Ruins social media campaign started with social media. The creation of the Twitter account along with multiple of like Instagram, got a YouTube channel and a website. Uh, it, like, obviously has all the bands on. So then, if we're doing a gig, Twitter account will put on where we're doing the gig and then the folks can know. Uh, allows us to reach wider audience, people who might not use Twitter, but use Facebook instead and the same on Instagram. With stuff like Facebook and YouTube, us specifically can ask these bands for the numbers so we know what age range we're going for with our PR department, our little videos, getting the record label up there, we know what gender's we're aiming towards, all that junk. It's a picture. That's 79 people spent. Questionnaire, results and questions. Uh, the questions we basically asked to um, get people's feedback on the record label for us well, so we knew how to market it back to them. Features stuff like how does the song make you feel, so we know whether to go for a club approach. Uh, what particular track is your favourite? That one was no point to least favourite. No if you saw a new song, so if it was Little Babies, Raising Burns and Hairy Legs, or Reamer or that jam. What you, if you saw the artwork, would you listen to the song? Would you buy it? What specific place would you go to? Spotify, iTunes, Bandcamp, SoundCloud, Tidal. What service do you use to listen to music so we know who to get into contact with? At the end of our, what to put on? Hi. Where can you buy it? How much would you buy it for? Uh, we asked them if they preferred digital or physical. Uh, most people went for digital, but more on that later. And sleeve or CD case? So we just did the questionnaire to see where we should be taking the record label. How we can market it back to them. How we can get the widest audience. Results. Uh, the results of the service told us to use Spotify to host our music. This could be easily done by paying a fixed fee to Ditto to force the record label as a whole. And uh, we also found out to prefer to buy the music of iTunes, so we put it on iTunes, I believe among other places. What kind of people and who did you actually ask? Uh, uh, we asked how many people? range of people went to, say, parents, get them in, maybe not parents of the band, so they don't really have a bias towards anyone. Got a range of students in from different classrooms to answer the survey, about the questionnaire. <laughs> so we weren't just getting music people, we were getting maths people. Etc. And how many, people, how many people are brought in the survey? In the survey, overall, it was around 20 to 30 in between that. Um, we did originally have more, but um, some of the questions timed out in the survey, so we lost a few responses. But, but, 
Yeah, you just serve him on Yeah, you just serve him on his toast. Passed out over email around the college. For the future, to the uh, students who might be marketing this next year, I'd say continue to push on social media. Because it's only going to get bigger. And we'll have a wider audience of kids growing up with social media now at a young age. And we'll continue to use it in the future, as opposed to the older generation now not having grown up with it. So there'll be less people in the business. Do you say anything about the future? I can take it on board. Pretty much like from that where social media is pretty much the future where people people want it every day so if we get our message out on social media loads of people are going to see that uh, some points we believe the main some point of the product is the range of music coming out of the label uh, it's not just focused on one band each group gets their own time their own different gigs doing that bit. So yeah, I would record level prize itself on having something for everyone. A bit of diversity. Uh, it depends what music you're into. It's indie, it's punky, it's, it's a smooth, smooth electro acoustic over label. Jazz. Areas for improvement. Uh, so we'd come as areas for improvement so we know the future knows how to market it. Uh, we believe within Northern Ruin, a bit of communication between people, some gigs seem to be spontaneous or suffer from lack of advertising, as well as a delay on some singles that may be released, which disrupts the marketing team. Uh, maybe more of a hierarchy to make sure that people get to the singles and item on time. Um, that was seen to be the record label, people paid what they want as opposed to releasing anything in bulk. Picture came there. It's a random picture. Areas of success? Uh, one specific area of success is the collaborative effort of everyone trying to get social media and all the information out there, such as big date singles released. Is that realised or released? Released. 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 Spelled, and songs on Spotify. Due to all students have a form of social media, everyone can post their own information on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. So basically, what we're saying out here is saying, Social media enables us to get a wide audience and get people listening, really. Due to our research, one one thing we've succeeded in is uh, knowing what might be coming next, and we've got a wide enough range for whatever <coughs> the music situation takes us in the future. So um, that will help the up and coming students who might take this on uh, in the coming years. I think we have a promising actual band lineup because. Quite a popular thing at the moment is like feminism and punk rock. It's all making a comeback. So, using our pit in the glitter babies, we can market that as like a the now. So people are like getting into. Thanks to stuff like Ditto and Spotify, we can analyse um, our marketing. We can analyse the music distribution. We can keep an eye on record sales and work on when our week is. Also, Spotify is a widely used program due for, to help our audience analysis because it comes up with a little table uh, to tell us where we're getting popular in, and this gives us more chance to enter more charts due to the amount Spotify has on its program. Marketing. Done. Any questions? Um, I like the fact that you've taken on the edgy element of a. Of Factory records and the kind of radical record labels that we try to base Northern Ruin on. You know, the sort of ethos that the, the students in Unit 39 set the thing up in the first place and the ideas of where things were going to go. I mean, factory records were a bit on the edge and they did some very ambitious and a bit wacky things. And, and the fact that one of the other groups mentioned in the presentation about the comedy element that draws people in, people seem to like comedy. Your product you've made for marketing the record label. Just explain what it is. I mean, the video is not available to be shown here, but you know, you have got a video and I've seen the development of this video. So basically it's like a, a satire mockumentary thing. Uh, of, it's about us, but in a fictional sense, where we're the PR department that no one likes, and then, but we're delusional, and then, we think everyone likes us and so on so and it's just loads of, yeah, like a gag where we subtly market the 
record label. But then, as said in the previous group, people like comedy. They're going to come for the comedy and go away thinking, oh, that's a good so, record label. Within this mockumentary, you constantly bring up like band names or Waken by the songs, but in a jolly manner. Yeah. Not in here is a record label by other stuff. It's more like here's something we're doing that's going to make you laugh. Like including elements of the record label. And as you're moving on next year, and obviously the video's still with us, can we use this video for a bit of comedy to no. show no. things off? <laughs> right. Go for yeah. Could yeah. be if it gets big. Could be the main stage of Northern Ireland. We'll have to come back. We'll get on demand gigs. Social ambassadors. So we'll have to, we'll have to come back. <laughs> get our own sketch. Get our own sketch. And one last question I'd ask you is: What could you recommend to me and Andy for next year? When, what, what's been the best and most positive promotion ideas that you've seen or you've been involved in? That you think on oh, second year the students next year can take on them, take the baton of this on them. Try and promote the label. It's been the most effective one. Just keep pushing that social media. Social media. Social media is pretty much the future, and especially if you can get more niche social medias where it's not going to get lost in the sea of tweets. So I keep pushing those Twitters, those Instagrams, Facebooks.